Hello and welcome Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. The Robin's Realm readings, thank you for coming in. I have a treat for you and the reason I have this treat is because you have a, what I saw in your original reading, I'm redoing it because it was so shitty looking, but what I saw in your reading was you guys are doing good. High Priestess work. You got your stores. You got your channels. You got your work. You're calling. You're doing your calling. You're awesome. You got God's favor. Most of you. And there's this Virgo in the background that is adamant on doing something to keep you back. I'm tired of it. So when I do these bowls, I'm going to do a triple bowl blessing for you. I want you to draw energy into yourself. Draw some beautiful chi in yourself. Settle into your solar plexus because I'm going to do a blessing for you to help eliminate this uh, negativity out of your experience as I can do that. I'm a Reiki Master Healer, so welcome to the channel. And uh, my reading I'm going to do for you is from February 15th, which is actually today, till the 1st of March. Apologies, there's just been some kind of snafus with electronics lately. All right, guys. So... This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I'll be doing a reading for you as well. I'm clearing away all types of negative energy out of your experience. Astral forces, Archangel Michael, come in. Remove all attachments, all negative energy forms, all negative thought forms, all heavy energy forms, all intruders and mischief makers, all astral forces and dominance. All small demons and large demons. Take authority over them, including incubus, succubus energies. We know why they come into our space. All living humans who try to steal our energy or do any harm to us. Find all the humans, Michael the Archangel and Christ and Spirit who are lost around us. Find a way to bring them back home as a prodigal. Remove all threads and bindings all cords and ties, all chains and devices of any kind, all curses and hexes of any level, and all karmic patterns which are self-defeating, all karmic links that are no longer needed, return me to my perfect energy now, please. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, and thank you. This is for my Libras. You know, I love you. I want to make sure you get some justice here because I also am like you, have a business that's been under attack uh, by somebody, not knowing why. Let me move this crystal ball off my table. I don't know why they would do that. They're not holding their own energy. They're doppelgangers. They're uh, one-uppers. They're pick-me people. They're uh, I want your money people. Whatever it is, it's just pure greed, you know? And it's totally unnecessary because... When you're tapped into God, you don't have to worry about that so much. The money comes in the most miraculous ways. But when somebody's in the background stealing it, they will be uh, exposed. And we're going to look at that right now. As above, so below, everything unholy has got to go. Calling in angelic guides, holy guides, ancestral guides, the most high. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you for coming back to my channel and supporting it. Thank you for buying, um, purchasing wonderful, wonderful um, sacred Reiki sprays, um, spiritual bath products off my web, off of my website or off of my Etsy shop. Everything's in the link below if you want to get it. And if you're not able to click on the links, I need to know that. All right. You know my email is in there. You can email me and tell me. All right. Or you can just tell me in comments. Holy Spirit. Libra. Hang on. I just created this beautiful candle. I'd like to recreate my candles. I bought a bunch of rose candles because I think we need some more roses around us, even though it's Valentine's. Take advantage of that. By the way, I'm a floral designer as well. And if you get roses, always try to cut them um, in, underneath water if you can. Um, you'll get them to last longer and it'll keep bubbles from getting up in the stem, causing the head of the flower to drop. Um, also, make sure that you're putting a little ice in the bottom of the water, and your, your roses will love that. They'll be like, oh, okay. Pop. Okay, here we go. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, uh, spirit. Oh, wow. Before I do that, let me pull a, 
a, me a message for love. This is for February 15th of the 1st of March for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I really am grateful to you, everyone who's joined me. And sir, bless me. Imagine all one. See, here's the thing. Whatever this shit is, it's got you in your head. You're like, wait a minute. The frequencies are off. The energies are off. What the hell is it? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light for your sake, right? And this creates room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So the uh, love guides wanted you to see that. Okay, we're going to take a look at your energy. Libra, show me Libra. Show me Libra, please, Holy Spirit, guys. Libra's, Libra's guides, my guides, show me. Bring me into alignment with the collective of Libra so I can minister to them and they can get some information they didn't otherwise have. All right, <clears throat> this is you. You are, even though you're an air sign, you're showing up as the Queen of Wands, which means somebody who's got a business, somebody who's productive, somebody who's active, somebody who's outspoken, somebody who's also very special. Um, and in the Queen energy, it's like, well, you earned that title right. You know what I mean? So you're pretty passionate right now. You're making some kind of an offer to somebody or some kind of peace offering or something. You're cautious about it, though, and you're holding back a little bit. Yeah. They're telling me you need to protect your energy a little bit more. You need to do some spiritual protection a little more. I don't know what you need to do uh, other than to be asking your guys, angels, and God to be really fighting your battles for you, right? What are you fighting? What is your challenge? Show me. Wow. There might be a cancer that you're dealing with, but there is some movement here. Someone that does an awful lot of talking and communication and does with verbal magic on you. This person is, uh, it could be a Cancer. It could be a Gemini. But they're doing some kind of magic on you, Libras. And it's not good because the magic is reverse. So if your spirit is not protected, if you're not protecting all your things, chasing your passwords, making sure you can trust everybody in your environment, whoops, um, if you're not doing that, you're, you need to be, is what your guides are saying. You need to be. Some of you are very sharp because you bring balance and justice, but there are people who try to dupe you because they know that you're fun, right? They know that you are great here. But what is this challenge? Why is, let me turn on some light. Why is this magician in the reverse? It has to do with your money. It has to do with your money. This is a, an earth sign doing verbal magic, reputation damage, um, spreading it all around, perhaps, online, doing things online. You need to protect yourself. That's what gods are telling me. Now, we're going to look at love, but geez whiz, you guys, you know, I have to get your back on these things, okay? And what's interesting is that I have Mercury in Libra and Mars in Libra. You really don't want to toy with me. You understand? Mars in Libra, I'm going to bring the fucking boom down. Not only that, but I'm Scorpio. <laughs> and I got some pretty powerful players in my chart. Serious power players. And if you don't want to go through a death or a tower, you don't come for me. You come and ask me for help. Because I can see things and address them as quickly as possible. Um, I can cl Basically, the truth is, is that I would be happy to validate whatever you think you're going through and who, who it is and how to clear it up, how to get past it. First thing I can tell you right now is get all your passwords changed, get everything changed, get somebody out of your environment. You have an earth sign and a cancer and a Gemini or a fire sign. The one that's most predominant would be this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, you're going to get over on this. Why? Because you're going to go in and pray about this. You're not letting anything bypass you. You're like, okay, God, I get it. I heard, I heard. I'm going to take it to God. I'm going to take it and I'm going to check on this. I'm going to go down and validate in the spirit what I know, what I'm suspecting, right? I'm kind of validating some right now and making a choice as to what you need to do with this person or this relationship you you have here with this person. I don't know who it is. A father, a husband, causing grief. 
uh, running around talking to other people, but this is magic behind your back. Okay, period. This is bad juju behind your back. Yeah, you need to speak your truth real fast. They said, whatever it is, uh, whatever you, when you make this choice, this is your breakthrough. When you make the choice and you're speaking about it, it's a testimony. You know, the word of God says that you win over the devil by your testimony and by your, your faith and by your testimony and by the word of God. So you speak the truth, you pray first, you follow your heart, you do the right thing, you speak the truth really quickly and very boldly and very fast with caution and wisdom. And you stay in your heart, Libras, that beautiful, solid place where you know you can emotionally balance things out. Yeah, because your destiny depends upon it. This is your breakthrough. Your fortune depends upon how you handle this. Yes? Do you have advice for... Uh, I have angel cards for you too, guys. Thank you for staying and, and watching my channel, liking it so that it can circulate. Thank you so much for your love, love, love. And thank you so much for uh, Libras trusting me with your with your personal, very, very important personal readings. You know, I've kept everything very sacred. If anything other comes at you, it's not from me. I keep things extremely sacred. So you let me know if you if you need my help. Go to my website or you can email me. Um, if, if not, it's up to you. What is the advice for Libra? Somebody needs to make some kind of an offer, a pay it forward or invest in something. What do they want you to invest in? What do they want you to invest in? Spirit guides, come on, Libra. Too many. I'm not comfortable. Too many. What do they want Libra to invest in? Give me a minute. Okay. I'm deeply involved in this reading right now. That's because I really do love you. Yep. Here goes. First of all, this is a Gemini. This person's not in the upright. Um, the lovers are in reverse. You need to make a choice as to who you're going to give your love to or who you're going to work with, who you're going to couple with because an offer here is not being taken because somebody's in competition with you. Does that make sense? Okay. Now that's going to make a lot of sense. Tell, tell me that you can't, you should not be with this. Yeah. Otherwise, if you make an offer to this person, whoever this is, somebody's about to make a big they're about to make a big mistake Ver, uh, Libra don't 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 do it um, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces and this is Gemini and this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn you have you are thinking uh, you are advised to make some kind of an offer but what kind of an offer is it because the people you're dealing with are in the negative and they're not building with you, so why would you invest in them? Let's see, who is this, please, Spirit? Someone you that was juggling you, somebody who uh, hurt you. Don't go back to that past person. Don't go back to that person. Marriage or not, there's something wrong here, really, really bad. And it's an emperor. But there's something wrong with this emperor. Tell me about this emperor, please. Male or female, Taurus... Possibly a Taurus, possibly an Aries. Third parties in reverse. More about that. They're telling you to wait for something better. Wait, it's coming. Wait for something better for a while. Wait a while. Spirit says wait a while. Because if you want to make this offer, or you made this offer, you could be opening the door to some more wickedness because this person doesn't really have your best interests in mind. The magician is not going to manifest anything. They're all talk. And they, they travel, but they're all talk. They have nothing for you. See? Ten of swords, five of wands. They're all talk. Okay. And you know that. We said that in the first place. This is a Virgo. This is my Virgo card. And I don't like that Virgo. Yeah, they're trying to burden you. 
It could be somebody you know for a long time. It could be somebody in your family. And they keep playing in your energy field and don't want to leave. But in your energy field, they're doing dark stuff. They're doing negative stuff. See? Trying to keep themselves out of trouble. See? Five of swords, five of wands. Holy shit, this is a negative person. Yeah? And they don't want to leave your energy. So that should be a clue as to who this could be. They love making love to you. So it could be a masculine. And he is the cheatingest, cheatingest son of a bitch. This one here. This is somebody that doesn't tell the truth. They put, they put on shows. Um, see? They don't even have any faith. They don't walk with God. And they're a high priestess in reverse. Negative. These are not gender-specific readings. You are a Libra. I'm reading for my Libras. You got some biatch here. And you need to help figure out how what to do about this. I'd love to help you find out more and see what you can do. I'm also a Reiki master healer. I love sharing that energy with my readings. So it makes them different. That's why I can just fly right through them. Angel answers. Let's see what's going on for you, beautifuls, okay? What do we need for Libra this time? That was not what I expected. I had to bring it to you, though. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for liking the video so it can circulate. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining me. Yep, I appreciate that. All right, hit the all bell if you do. This way you can get everything. Tell me Libra's uh, angel message. What is Libra's angel message? See, not the right time. You had to make that offer. Not the right time. They've got work. Mysterious work is going on in the background. Yeah. That's what these angels are telling me. There's like this mysterious putting things together. There's a timing. But if you listen to God, you'll get success. If you listen to your higher power, you'll get success. And if you believe, have faith. It's up to you. You've got that seven of cups. People like me who come to help you. Libra, do you hear me? We come to help you. Let's see what Michael the Archangel says. Wait, 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 wait. How about some love? Romance. Imagine all unwanted, so, uh, all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely, spirit. Thank you. Making that room for new opportunities. Yes, yes, yes. Let it go. Don't go back. That's what I'm hearing, and I don't know which one of you it's for, but whatever. You'll know if, if many of the uh, elements in this identify to your situation. Love yourself first. Yeah, get that protection going, kid. But get out, you know, love yourself. Some great's coming. Um, that's why the enemy always comes back just before something great's coming. You might have a wedding going on in the future when you find out it's safe for you to love. If you believe there is, you can make things happen. Beliefs are everything in creating your world. You can ask any psychologist, a holistic therapist. It's 100% true, especially those that do um, hypnotic past life work. Michael, open the door to your spiritual gifts. You're at an ending of something and you need to transmute that energy into something strong because you are definitely the high priestess to me. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Michael, again, Libra. Yep, yeah, you're correct. Yep, you've listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. Yay, that's what I'm talking about. Libra, thank you, honeys, for being here, sharing your time with me. I hope I blessed you. Namaste.